name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm posting content on scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to be notified of new videos, which I'm publishing weekly. Just when I thought that things had settled down, I see even more new or reprised designs for the Women's Spring-Summer 2022 Scarf Collection from Hermes. So in this video, I'll cover what I've found, both cashmere and silk, and give some background on the designs and the artists behind them. Again, bear in mind that many of these may not be new designs per se, but issued in different formats, colorways, or treatments. Let's get started. This gavroche is a reincarnation of a design originally issued, I believe, in 2012. Peinture Fresh, or Fresh Painting, is a graphic paint version of the Hermes logo, the Ex Libris Duke carriage and groom. At 45 by 45 centimeters, this is the pocket square size, which personally I tend to wear mainly in warm or hot weather. I also find them fun to mix with other 45s, twillies, or other small format scarves for some unique and playful looks. At any rate, I've seen this in at least six colorways, and as a bonus, they all have these delicious striped rolled hems. It could be that I wasn't paying attention before, but I think this is the first time that I've noticed any kind of contrast rolled hem on a scarf of this size. Here is an interesting mashup of two Hermes scarf designs. Ex Libris on Les Parisiennes. The Ex Libris design by Hugo Grigard is well known by Hermes fans, having first been issued in 1946. The Hermes Ex Libris emblem is the center medallion of this composition, surrounded by a carriage, stagecoach, and two handsome cabs. The second design, Les Parisiennes, was created in 2012 by a designer named Kiraz, and it features cartoon cameos of the artist's Parisian heroines who can be seen in various vignettes around Paris, enjoying a café outside on the left bank, window shopping on the Faubourg Saint-Honoré, or chatting while laden down with shopping bags. His tongue-in-cheek caricatures of these women, always in motion, captures both the humor and elegance of the Parisian woman. So far, I've only seen this in two very summery colorways, both of which have contrast rolled hems. This gavroche is a flat-out reissue I'd like to mention simply because the design is highly collectible. Graph is by French Vietnamese painter and graffiti artist Congo, also known as Cyril Congo. Much of his art is based on lettering, or these large, colorful, spray painted letters typical of urban street art. This graph design was first issued in 2011, and in past years it's been available as a 90, a 45, 140, and Twillies. And while I understand this look may not be for everyone, Personally, I love the juxtaposition of this urban style with silk or cashmere. Plus, they are so colorful, they're incredibly versatile in terms of what you can pair them with. From what I can tell, there aren't any new colorways, but there looks to be at least seven available and potentially more in store, since the Hermes websites typically don't have as wide as a selection. Here is another reincarnation, this time of the classic Aloha scarf by Laurence Bortomieu, a longtime designer for the house who is also known as Tutsi. In this design, she pays tribute to the island of Oahu, which is Hawaii's most habited island and home to the capital Honolulu. Aloha is a word with a variety of meanings, from welcome, hello, see you soon, or love. And the lei, which is a garland of fragrant plumeria flowers, is traditionally offered along with this welcome. The Oahu Valley is dominated by two volcanoes and hosts a diverse world of plant life, which she showcases here. Coconut palms, hibiscus, guava, and more surround the hula dancer, along with birds of paradise, cardinals, and macaws. 
I've seen this 70 by 70 centimeter scarf in at least four colorways. And the dip dye, if you haven't yet encountered it, is a special wash treatment, which turns the colors a bit more monochromatic and makes it ever so soft. I have this design in an orange wash with uh, it's a 90 centimeter version, which I wear often not only by itself, but paired with other scarves, especially in colder weather. I have a tutorial playing with this concept, which you should check out if you haven't seen it. Here's a new design in the double face format. This is called Passade et Serpentine by another longtime Hermès Carré designer, Virginie Jamin. The passade and serpentine are two types of dressage figures that consist of creating geometrical patterns on the ground, generally circles or semicircles. The techniques are designed to help the rider work on the horse's flexibility and perfect its paces. Jama drew inspiration from a 17th century German equestrian treatise to create this double-sided carré, where riders rehearse on the edge of a castle estate surrounded by trees. I've only seen this in one colorway so far, which is lovely, and I look forward to seeing what other palettes they'll make available. This 140 design, Les Trophées by Pierre-Marie, was originally issued as a 90 centimeter silk twill in 2013. Pierre-Marie is a self-described artist ornamentalist, or someone who decorates everything. He's also reportedly passionate about Disney animated films and color. The scarf features an impressive collection of trophies from all kinds of sports. You can see the Sot Hermès trophy, a racing cyclist medal, skates, an F1 car, a cricket player, a high jumper, and more. There's even a lifeguard certificate which dates to 1895 and belonged to none other than Emile Hermès, who reportedly dove into the Seine to save the lives of three people from drowning. I've seen this 140 cashmere scarf in at least five colorways, not all here on the U.S. site, but again, a great opportunity to pick up this design if you missed it in the 90, or you're new to it and just charmed by the whimsy of this designer. I believe this design was originally issued in 2014, reprised again in 2019, and now again in this year's collection. By François Houtin, Le Jardin de Léla au Bloc is a tribute to the creator of the house's famous window displays at the 24 Faubourg flagship store in Paris, Léla Manchari, who passed away at the age of 93 in 2020. This 140 cashmere design is a dreamy interpretation of Leila Manchari's Mediterranean garden, which she discovered in her native Tunisia at the age of 10 and which inspired decades of creation since. Manchari described creepers hugging enormous trees, vegetation inhabited by the rustle of bamboo in the breeze, the surrealism of this nature, and the image of paradise. A few seasons ago, this scarf was decorated with embroidery, stamps of multicolored flowers, blooming corollas, and ornamental foliage. The colorful motifs are reproduced here through the technique of block printing. This cashmere scarf looks to be available in at least three different colorways, and since Madame Manchari's passing in 2020, takes on an even more special meaning. Here's another reincarnation by Pierre Marie, which was originally issued as a 90 centimeter silk toile carré in 2015, as well as a 140 cashmere GM. Pierre Marie has been designing for the house since 2010, when he became the youngest person tapped by Hermès to create scarves. La Maison de Carré depicts the adventure of a scarf, from its initial conception, through dyeing and printing processes, to its arrival in stores. Also notable is the Cabinet of Curiosities Museum, or Design Studio, reflective of the house's talent incubator that's inspired countless designs. On the U.S. website, they're only showing two colorways so far, but of course that does vary by website region and will likely change as we progress more into the year.
Another reissue that I'd like to mention due to the design being highly collectible is this one. Act 3, Saint Anne, La Clairière takes its name from the Shakespearean play, A Midsummer Night's Dream, a romantic comedy telling the tale of four lovers who find themselves bewitched by forest fairies. As I've mentioned in other videos, Edouard Baribot is a relatively new artist to the house, but his scarf designs are highly sought after. This is a design which was originally issued as a 90 by 90 as well as a cashmere 140, both of which sold out rather quickly. And here it is again, a flat out reissue of the cashmere 140 format. From what I recall, in pretty much the same colorways as the original issue. But if you missed it during the original season, here's a great chance to pick it up. I never got this in the 140 format, so it's definitely on my list for consideration this season. So there you have it. A bit more about the spring-summer 2022 scars from Hermes that are starting to appear. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, not tutorials, and more. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time!